Hi there all my crafty friends. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to use air dry clay on a glass bottle with some amazing effects along with some faux leather techniques. If you're ready, let's make a mess. I cut a strip out of a brown paper bag and I'll use this to make my leather. I'm going to tear the paper around the edges to make it look old and ragged and I'm spraying it with a little bit of water to make the paper easier to tear. Where are you watching from? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. Now that I fit the paper to the decanter, I'm going to wet it down and scrunch it up in a ball to create the lines and deep creases that you see in real leather. After I open it back up, I'm spraying it with some water to relax the creases or they'll be a little bit too deep. While it's still wet, I'm adding my first coat of paint, which is a medium tan. And I'm adding water to the paint to make it runny. My second coat of paint will be a medium brown. My next coat of paint will be a reddish brown, kind of a rusty color. And after I put it on, I'm dabbing it with a piece of paper to create a little bit of texture. My next and final coat will be a dark brown and I'll dab that with some paper as well. And this coat of paint I put on with a sponge. I watered down all my paint colors and I'll give you the names of all the colors at the end of the video. I'm using some white twine and a large needle to do some faux stitching on the leather. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like and share it with one of your friends. And now I'll cover the entire front of my piece of leather with some satin varnish. Remember when I said, let's make a mess at the beginning of the video? Well, here we go. I'm using some antiquing medium to enhance the wrinkles in the paper. I'm smearing it on and then I'll wipe it off. If it comes out too dark, you can wipe some of it off with a damp towel.
I'm adding some more aging by putting some black ink around all the edges of the paper. I'm doing that in a circular motion. And now another coat of satin varnish. Because the decanter is clear, you'll be able to see the back of the paper from the top of the bottle. So I'm doing all the same procedures on the back of the paper. I have some great videos coming up in the future. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. I'm going to use Mod Podge to glue the paper to the decanter, but first I'm wiping it down with alcohol to make sure it's clean so my glue will adhere properly. I'm spraying the paper down with a little bit of water so it becomes pliable again. I need it to bend around all the corners easily. I marked the center back with tape so I know exactly where to start. As I'm gluing, I'm taping the top and the bottom to make sure it doesn't move around on me. In the front, I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. I want to make sure the front seals really well so it doesn't lift. What type of tutorial would you like to see more of? Mixed media and decoupage? Mason jar decorating? Or more craft videos just like this one? And any glue that gets on the glass as I'm working, I'm wiping off with a paper towel and some alcohol. I wanna make sure I remove it before it dries. And then I am wrapping this decanter with a lot of tape to make sure everything is stuck really well. I let it dry overnight and now I'm removing all the tape. And it looks really beautiful. Any glue that seeped out from under the paper, I'm scraping off. Now I'm going to make some trim for the top and the bottom of the decanter using Dallas clay. The little button has a crown on it. I'm going to make it look like metal bands. And the little button is going to go front and center. But I started with the center back for the bands. And I am wiping off any excess glue as I go. I'm setting the top edge of the decanter on a little bowl so that when I set it down it doesn't touch my work table and get smashed.
there was a little gap at the top and bottom of the little button. So I glued a couple of rolled up pieces of clay to the underneath and now it's sitting perfectly. I let the top bands dry overnight and then I started on the bottom bands using all the same steps as the top. Clay shrinks as it dries, so it left a little bit of a gap in the center back. And I'm filling it in with a little bit of pre-mixed grout, and I'm smoothing it out with a wet paintbrush. I'm painting the trim with a base coat of tin and I'll be doing some beautiful metallic rubs to enhance the old metallic look in a little bit. I'm adding some grunge, which I'm making by mixing some paint with some coarse texture medium. I'm adding this sparingly here and there around both bands, top and bottom. This looks really cool when it dries. The paint dries flat, but you can see all the sand in it, so it looks like old corroded metal. I'm adding some antiquing to bring out the detail in the trim pieces. I'm brushing it on and then wiping it off. I'm making sure to get above and below the trim pieces too. I upload a new video every Wednesday morning. Click the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video.
Now it's time to add the beautiful metallic rubs. I'm layering four different colors. Layering your colors makes for an outstanding finish. It looks like old world distressed metal. I'm starting with iced espresso, then gold, champagne ice, and the last one will be silver spark. My rubs are a little dried out, so I'm spraying some water on them. I'm putting the rub on, then buffing it with a soft cloth. I'm adding a little bit of the gold rub to the stitching. I'm giving the leather and the bands a final coat of satin varnish. I'm going to make a little sign that says whiskey to hang around the neck of the decanter. I'm using DOS clay and rolling it out to about 3 16 of an inch thick. And I made a paper pattern that I'm tracing on the clay. I'm tapping on the clay to create some texture. I'm making some impressions on the back of the tag for the chain. When the clay dries, I'll be able to glue the chain into the impressions. Now that the clay is dry, I'm able to glue the chain into the impressions I made. I'm going to paint and antique the tag just like I did the bands and I'll add the same rub as well front and back and here are your paint colors I used a medium tan that I mixed so I don't have a name for that color the medium brown is deco art espresso the dark brown is Anita's all-purpose acrylic in espresso bean. The reddish brown is Deco Art traditional burnt sienna. And the color for the trim, the bands, is tin. And now I'll add some satin varnish to protect everything. I cut the word whiskey out with my Cricut machine on some black vinyl. But if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can use stencils and paint it, or you could purchase the pre-made vinyl stickers. After I had the tag on the decanter, I decided to add some black ink to all of the edges. I think this project turned out so good. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you.
Thanks for watching, and I hope to see all my crafty friends again next week. I put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist.